Hi, and welcome to the Ecom channel, the YouTube channel that gives you all the tips and tricks you need to create a successful e-commerce store. In this video, we are going to connect the WordPress store to Google Shopping. But before we start, I highly recommend that you keep yourself up to date with the latest news, tricks and trends by subscribing to our channel. In order for us to add our products from WordPress to Google Shopping, we have to have a plugin. We start by opening the WordPress dashboard and we locate plugins on the left hand side of the screen. We click add new and we write Google listings in the search bar. Then this app, Google listings and ads will appear and we click install now. We might have to give it a few seconds. and click activate. And when we have waited a few seconds, we can go to install the app on the left hand side and locate the Google listings and ads plugin. And we click get started. Let's see, um, and there we go. When this window will appear, we click start listing products. And we start on top by connecting WordPress. Make sure that the email address on top is correct, then we write a username and we choose a password. When you are done, we click the create your account button. Uh, yes, there it is. And now it's time to activate Google. I highly recommend that you create a separate Google account for your business. I have made a video for that. You can see it on the screen now. You can just click it if you want to know how you do it. Now when you connect an account to WooCommerce, I recommend giving it as much access as possible. Like this, and we continue. And now the only thing that's left is Google Merchant Center. And we click Create Account, and now you will see here you have to accept the, the terms. Uh, now we will see that we will get a window that, that says that another Google Merchant Center has claimed the account. If that happens, you just click Reclaim My URL. If that doesn't appear, it's not a big deal. It's actually good. And uh, now you select language, the language on your site, and the country there is where you send products to. Here are the shipping rules. Uh, recommended shipping rules are the easiest one. If you have a very simple shipping system, you can use this one. And the third option here, if you have a weight-based uh, shipping system, you can use that as well. The second option here is for flat rate shipping. But the system that automatically sets the shipping rates works great. Uh, and at the bottom here, we select shipping time. We click uh, continue and we are done. And now we have to confirm our uh, phone number and start by adding your country code. And I write my phone number down. I have to censor this. Uh, I send the verification and I write the code here. Let's see. And there we go. And now we have to go over the store address, make sure that is correct. And we also go over the pre-launch checklist. Uh, the first one is my store is live and accessible to all users. I have a complete checkout process. I have a secure checkout process. And you also need to confirm that you have a refund policy and terms visible on your site. And we also have to confirm that some contact options are visible on the site. And then you just click continue again. That's all we have to do in WordPress for now. And as we can see, Google will review our product listings within the next uh, three to five days. In these three to five days, I highly recommend that you keep a close eye on Google Merchant Center. And uh, there is one more thing I'd like to show you. Just uh, skip this for now. Click next and maybe later. Check this here. When it says sync in progress, it means that everything is working as it should. Now we have to visit our mailbox and verify our confirmation email. Click confirm now. You might have to log in as well, so just log in and verify your email address. So that's everything we have to do in WordPress for now. These next steps are in Google Merchant Center. I will leave a link for you to Merchant Center in the info section below. 
If this window appears, it means that you have issues that need to be fixed or considered fixed. Click Fix Issues and go over the list. Here you can see that we like tax and delivery. We add this and exit the shopping ads setup. When we click products and diagnostics, we can actually see which products are active on Google Shopping. If our products are green like ours, it means that they are live on Google Shopping. Blue means pending products and red means disapproved products. I highly recommend that you keep a close eye on this page for the next few days. And if you can't see any products here at the moment, don't worry, it can take a few hours until they appear. So now in the next two to four days, your products will start to appear in Google Shopping. That's it for now. Please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Bye.